it confirmed that he is truly a racist. This is huge. <laughs> this is huge, Sean. Finally. Big move. We didn't know. Finally, we didn't know. We Finally, didn't know. we have proof. We didn't know. <laughs> that the guy who refused to rent to black tenants said that a Nazi Klan rally had some fine people and called Africa a <laughs> hole is a racist. She's not below anyone else in the White House. She and General Kelly may have completely different pasts, but they have exactly the same future. You can never scrub off the Trump stank. In her new book, Omarosa claims that she once walked in on Trump in the Oval Office eating a piece of paper. <laughs> it's like eating paper. Uh, on the bright side, that's actually the healthiest thing he's ever eaten, but still. <laughs> I don't believe Trump would eat paper. I mean, that's what he has Mike Pence for, right? <laughs> I tell you, I can't believe that Omarosa would do this, would secretly record the president of the United States. I mean, that doesn't seem at all like something she would most definitely do. Trump tweeted, quote, wacky Omarosa, who got fired three times on The Apprentice, now got fired for the last time. She never made it, never will. <laughs> well, actually, she did make it. You hired her for a job in the White House after she got fired three times on The Apprentice. That's like getting cut three times from the Mets and thinking, I'm gonna try out for the Yankees. Now, as usual, when one of Trump's people turns on him, the White House runs its smear campaign playbook, right? They say the person has always been trash. Uh, with Omarosa, they've dismissed her as a lying, publicity-hungry reality star who only cares about enriching herself. And when Trump heard that, he was like, are you guys looking at my resume? Are you? 